Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. Now we've all had a pair of dress socks develop a hole in the toe or the heel, and oftentimes it the, marks the end of the lifetime of a pair of dress socks. However, if you're investing in really high quality luxury Italian dress socks, um, you know, and spending upwards of $45 on a really nice pair of socks, you know, the idea of throwing a pair of socks away the moment that one small hole develops is really quite wasteful. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to mend and repair your men's dress socks using a needle and thread and a darning egg. Now, one of the things that's important to understand about a really high quality pair of dress socks is they are by design knit very finely. That means that the finer the dress sock, the more susceptible it is to developing holes. It's really inevitable. And I think that men should darn their socks in order to increase the lifetime of their really fine dress socks. One of the hallmarks of a really high quality luxury Italian dress socks is how many needles is used to actually dip the sock. The more needles, the finer the sock. So for instance, this Palatino dress sock, which we carry on the Hanger Project, is knit using the highest number of possible needles, 260. Now the result is a really fine, luxurious dress sock that all but disappears whenever you're wearing it, which is one of the things that makes a great dress sock comfortable. So you would never go out and buy a really fine pair of handmade uh, English or Italian shoes and then wear a ski sock with that. I mean, it would be you know crazy to do that because you wouldn't experience any of the beauty or the comfort built into that shoe. And so a really fine dress sock by design should be thin because it allows you merely to slip your foot into the shoe and still experience as much of that shoe as possible. But one of the problems is that inevitably, with much wear, you're gonna develop small holes in the socks like this one. Now, they're very easily darned with a darning egg, and a needle and thread in just in a matter of few minutes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to mend your luxury dress socks, really you don't need anything more than just a needle and thread. However, having something called a darning egg makes that process a whole lot easier. Now the purpose of a darning egg is you insert it into your sock and it allows you to uh, have a surface to uh, take the needle against as you're sewing uh, or mending the hole. Now, we sell this darning egg on the Hanger Project. I think it's available for less than $20. And having a darning egg, a needle and thread handy in your drawer or your sock drawer uh, will make it uh, just a lot easier for you to mend your socks. Okay, so the first step to mending uh, any holes in your dress socks is to find the hole and then insert the darning egg. Now, the purpose of the darning egg is to allow you to one, kind of expose where the hole is, and then to have a surface to, to sew against. So in this video, I'm using a white thread just to make it easier for you to see what I'm doing. Uh, but if you're doing this at home, you'd probably want to use a pair, uh, some matching thread uh, that's tone on tone to just further, you know, kind of conceal the fact that uh, you've mended your socks. Uh, or you could use uh, bright red thread, you know, to show off the fact that you mend your socks. Uh, so I, I'm taking a length of thread, right, and then I'm going to cut that using a pair of scissors, right? And then I'm going to uh, lick the thread to help me uh, thread the needle. Now, you really don't need to have any experience in sewing and learning how to darn. It's just a little bit of practice. Uh, this video is gonna show you uh, all the steps necessary. So run that needle through the, um, or run that thread through the needle, and then you always want, uh, you know, about, you know, to take, you know, not quite all the way halfway through, but, you know, kind of a quarter or a third through just to prevent the thread from coming out of the needle. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is hold the needle and thread in your hand, and then at the top of the hole, what we're going to do is we're going to anchor the thread. Now take a small piece of um, the sock, and then you're gonna run the thread through not all the way, we'll cut that, uh, this tail whenever we're done. And then just take it back through those same, like that same piece of, of sock that you picked up. Now what you're doing is you're just looping it back here in order to anchor the thread. Right. And you can see I'm pulling that through 
if you can pull it through still, then just take it back through one more time. Because again, the purpose here is to prevent, I've got a bunch of thread going all over the place, but the purpose here is to just prevent that thread from unraveling. So I've done that twice, and as you can see, that's pretty well anchored. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a uh, backstitch around the circumference of the sock, right? Now we wanna stay you know, a little bit away from the edge of the hole without being too far because then what we're gonna come back is use that, that kind of that perimeter stitch or the circle that we drew to then pull the sock together. So the way that you do this is you just insert the needle, right, take it through just like that and then just come back, kind of splitting the difference, right? And then sew it through. So it's almost like a running stitch, except what we're doing is the back stitch part is what allows this to, to really kind of anchor and secure the sock. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to one, have something to pull against, and then two, we wanna prevent the sock from uh, unknitting or unraveling uh, any more than it already has. Right, so the closer you do this together, the more effective it is, uh, but you don't need to go crazy. So I'm just splitting the difference, right? I'm staying close to the edge of the hole uh, without getting too close. And I'm just gonna follow this around until I've got basically this entire a hole encircled, right? And as you can see, as I take my needle in, it's hitting the darning egg, uh, and then, you know, that's allowing me to, to do this much easier than if I didn't have that. You know, there's really absolutely no way to mend the sock uh, if you don't have something inserted into the sock itself to sew against. Um, if you don't have a darning egg, uh, you know, you can really use anything you can find around the kitchen or the house. Um, you know, I've even used a hard boiled egg before um, to just sew against in a bind, but having a darning egg is, is, is of course the better of the two. Okay, so I'm just, I'm pulling the sock tight, right? And then I'm just simply sewing around the edge. Now you don't want to get too close because it's just going to cause that uh, knit to just unravel. Right, and I'm just pulling the thread, just taunt a little bit. You don't want it too tight, because then it's gonna cause uh, unnecessary bunching. So you can see, I've sewn all the way around the sock. Now the next step is gonna be used, is to use a cross stitch to pull that together um, and uh, close that hole, right? So I'm just going to start at the top and you always sew uh, the same way you read, which is from left to right. And I'm just gonna catch a piece of the sock. Now, as you can see, I'm doing this above or outside of that original perimeter uh, that I had sewed. And then I'm gonna come and pick a little more right here, right? And then I'm just gonna pull that together. Right now, I'm not doing it super tight just yet. Right, I like to use the cross stitch as kind of like my first first pass to kind of get this together. Right, so I'm coming back over. Right, I'm pulling this together. Where's my needle? Now there's going to be bunching, right? But that's fine. I mean, again, especially if it's at the toe, it, you know, if it was the heel, I'd say, you know, maybe you wanna be a little bit more careful. Uh, but if it's at the toe, I mean, it's not gonna create any type of discomfort to have a little bit of kind of a, a raised lip there. So again, just simple cross stitch. I'm inserting the needle from the right, picking up a little bit of the sock taking it through and it's just creating a nice cross stitch like, you know, this is the same stitch that tailors use 
you know, behind a jacket, uh, or actually the same stitch they use to sew on labels. Um, pulling this in, right. All right, so you wanna pull that taut to just get that hole to close. Okay, so I've taken that all the way through, right? Now it's not the most beautiful needlework, you know, I'm certainly no uh, bespoke tailor, but it's enough to close that hole to make these socks wearable and prevent it from growing. So I've, I've gone all the way, you know, I stitched all the way around, I did a cross stitch to pull it together and then just a simple, you know, slip stitch, or I don't even know what it's called, to just kind of further reinforce that. Right, now it's time to, to close, you know, to tie off the thread and, and to close this, right? So I'm going to just loop through right here, right? And as you can see, I'm creating a loop with the thread, right? Just take the needle through that and pull that tight, right? And do this two or three times, right? I'm taking it through the sock I'm creating a small loop, right? And then just take the needle back through that. And then one of the things I like to do, again, this is just all cosmetic, but in order to further conceal the, kind of the, the tail of this thread, I'll take it through here, right? And then I'll cut it kind of right here and then whenever you pull this back, that tail just kind of disappears back into the sock. And then I'm gonna cut this original where I started. Okay, so as you can see, this is completely mended now. Uh, and these socks are uh, okay to wear again. So in my experience, I mean, I've been mending my socks for as long as I've owned them. And uh, you know, I've never really found any of my mending to be uncomfortable. And honestly, I kind of find it as a little bit of a badge of pride. I mean, I enjoy nice things, uh, but honestly, I, I don't mind being a little bit thrifty. And I think that mending your you know, luxury dress socks is completely acceptable. Nobody's ever gonna see this. And it allows you to get significant more wear out of a pair of nice dress socks uh, than you would otherwise be able to get. So now that we're finished, I wanna answer a few questions that we get often here at The Hanger Project. The first one is, is there anything that I can do to prevent holes from developing in my socks? And the answer is absolutely yes. One of the largest causes of, um, of holes in socks, especially at the toes, uh, are um, you know, untrimmed toenails. Now, if you have a toenail that isn't trimmed and that's too long, you know, it's gonna be basically sawing at your sock and that'll cause holes to develop really quickly. Another thing is that oftentimes, you know, if you've been sizing your shoes uh, wearing a thicker sock, then if you go to a really fine dress sock, oftentimes the shoes are too large right because now you don't have all that space being taken up with a thick cotton sock and so that can cause holes to develop also at the toe and at the heel the only other parting advice i'd like to leave you on sock care uh, is to take a look on our website hangerproject.com we have an in-depth tutorial on how to launder your socks now the lifetime of a pair of socks can really be measured in how often you launder them uh, just like really any piece of clothing. And so we really do recommend specific care whenever it comes to laundering your socks. And um, you know, it's not really covered in depth in this tutorial, but I'll just give you kind of the quick high level overview. You know, the most important thing is to turn your socks inside out, launder them only with socks using light detergent on a delicate cycle. And then the most important thing you can do to really extend the lifetime of your socks is to never, ever, ever put them into a dryer. Uh, always hang dry your socks. Buy a drying rack and hang them out to dry. Because if you put a pair of socks in a dryer, that high heat is going to cause the elastic 
you know, to wear out and ultimately lose its rebound. Uh, and then it always is going to degrade, you know, the integrity of the natural fibers used to knit the sock. So at all costs, avoid the dryer with fine dress socks. So that's it for our tutorial. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. If you have any questions about how to mend your socks using a darning egg, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. We always make a point to get back uh, to our uh, viewers. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, we're going to be releasing tons of, new video tons of additional videos on uh, not just shoe care, but garment care. Um, and then if you have any questions, feel free to email us at shoeshine at hangerproject.com. Thanks for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.